Hi everyone, I'm Karthik and uh, today the piece I'm going to be presenting is called How to Fall Out of Love. 1. Start drinking. It's the easiest way to forget her. Your senses will dull, your pain shall fade, and with it, her memories too. She'll become a blurred image of a dream that cannot turn to reality. And soon, alcohol will take her place as your obsession, and then you'll fall out of love. 2. Lock yourself up. In your room, in your mind, in your heart, and in your soul. Don't let anyone inside. Isolation will drive you to insanity. And soon, you'll lose your own self. And when the life in you stops existing, you'll lose your own self. She'll leave you emotionless. And then, you'll fall out of love. 3. Torture yourself. For death is merciful, pain is not Punch the walls till your knuckles bleed. Bleed till you can write her name on your walls. When her name slips from the deep recesses of your soul and gets etched onto those walls, you'll realize that the pain, that she cannot be yours, is far, far worse than bleeding knuckles. And then you'll fall out of love. 4. Shut yourself out. Hurt everyone around you. Be that monster you would have turned to if she hadn't rescued you the day you first met her. When your own demons consume you from within, you'll become a husk without a soul. She'll have left you. She'll have left you emotionless. You'll become the evil that you were scared of, and then you'll fall out of love. Five. Stop listening to music. No, don't throw your headphones away or put your uninstall the music apps. Just delete every song except the ones that remind you of her and the ones that you sung together. She will walk into your mind unannounced every single time you listen to them. And to spare yourself from the punishment, and to spare yourself from the punishment of having to relive her memories over and over and over again, you'll fall out of love. 6. Travel the world. Travel with pictures of you both, of the time when you found your entire world in each other. Immerse yourself in the lifelessness of those French castles, in the disappointing ruins of ancient Rome, in the dying corals of the Great Barrier Reef, or in the scorching sun of the barren Sahara. And if you're strong enough to admire a world surrounded by walls of despair, hopelessness and sorrow, instead of indulging into that one picture that lit your world up and gave you hope, trust me, you'll learn to fall out of love. 7. Start writing. Write about her so much that she becomes a beautiful muse. Write of how she left, how she walked away while you watched, in every poem, in every prose. Write until she becomes a mere figment of your imagination. And then, when you're finally managed to write the story of how you moved on and how you learned to live with a smile, you'll learn to fall out of love. And if none of these work, learn to fall in love again. When, when you think you can't muster enough strength to walk this path again, a stranger that feels like home will walk into your life and hold your hand and walk with you one small step at a time. She will teach you that moving on isn't a sin. She will teach you to fight the demons within. She will teach you to gather strength and rise. She will teach you to listen to her eyes. She will teach you to forget the pain. She will teach you to smile again. When she runs her fingers through her hair, or she tells you all about the dream she had when she was five, or even just laughs at your jokes, you'll realize that she could be your happiness. But soon, you'll hear your mind tell you that though your happiness is sitting right in front of you, all your wild heart can do is push her away and search for a shadow that long walked away into emptiness. And in the fear that this monster might have grown dangerous enough to destroy the last shred of happiness you could ever take into your hands, you'll resort to one of the other ways to fall out of love. 
until you dissolve into an eternity of dejection, misery and regret. But if you have chosen to embrace the newfound happiness, you have a new lease on life. You will no longer have to fall out of love.